Welcome to Exploring the Universe. I'm Elijah Wood, Chair of the Physical Science and Physical Education Department of Drain Creek Middle School. We have a fascinating show lined up for you today. First up is an amazing experiment you can do in your very own kitchen. Joining me today is the sharpest scientific mind in the Four County region, Dr. Robert Schneider. Thank you, Elijah. So what do you have cooking up for us today? Well, we are not cooking today, Elijah. I'm going to demonstrate that fruits and vegetables have some electromagnetic properties. Well, that's basic electrobiology, Robert. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, however, using the simple device that I have constructed from microwave oven parts, we are able to turn these signals into something unique. Fascinating. Ah, what a fun trick. A great noisemaker. And by adding in other fruits, we can adjust the velocity of sound. Incredible. So when your mom tells you not to play with your food, why don't you show her what songs your food can play? Dr. Schneider is always tinkering with new electronic projects. So I'm sure he's brought something very interesting for us to see today. I hope so, Elijah. I have built a device that enables us to travel through space and time. Did you say travel through space and time? Precisely. This is the Electroliminal Frequency Navigation Tool, version 6. It enables us to create a portal, an interdimensional portal. Have you successfully operated this machinery before? Of course. Let me demonstrate. What's going on? Stand by. What is this? This is a portal connecting our reality with alternate space-time continua. What do you mean by continua? Alternate versions of our universe. This is my favorite alternate universe. Wait a minute. That's you. Yes, I'm a musician in this universe. Extraordinary. This Robert Schneider is a member of the Apples in Stereo, well-known practitioners of both rock and roll. Fascinating. The Apples in Stereo. So do they make their music by manipulating the sound waves of apples and other fruits? No, apparently they use stringed instruments to conduct experiments in sound recording and tone manipulation. How peculiar. The signal, it's fading. The music was amazing. That world is a beautiful place. So do they listen to the same kinds of music that we have here? Um, no, they only seem to listen to music made by other human beings. No dog music? No, no dog music. How bizarre. Well, that's all the time that we have for this week. Join us again next time on Exploring the Universe.